Yes, you've guessed it. It's the world-famous Bee Gees, who have sold more records than any other group called the Bee Gees in the entire history of the world. And as you know, the boys very seldom give interviews, but they're here tonight to answer all the in-depth questions that you at home don't give a damn about. Well, guys, you're in the middle of a world tour and have just finished sell-out concerts here in London. Why is it, do you think, that millions of people love your music? Cause we're living in a world of fools. I see. Some people have implied that your high voices, coupled with the long hair, shirt open to the navel, revealing hairy chest and medallion look, suggest that you're somewhat less than masculine, and that you... Look the other way! <laughs> exactly. Uh, what do you say to that? Ha, 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 ha. I see. So you, you poo-poo the less than masculine slur, do you, Barry? Well, you can't tell by the way I use my walk on the woman's name. Ha, 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 ha. Hmm. Yes, well, let's talk about those famous BG teeth now. Uh, how would you describe them? Massachusetts. I see. Massachusetts. It's a joke. It's a tragedy. Well, I agree. Try to understand. I did, but let's face it. It's a very dull joke. We can make it shine. Okay, I'll give you one more chance. Tell the joke again. Massachusetts. No, it doesn't work. Forget it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been talking to the Bee Gees. Great. Didn't they? 